I want to say another um, similarity between Tantra and psychedelics, which is that how do you create these states? So how do you create a state that would be conducive to psychedelic sex happening without the use of psychedelic mm -hmm. drugs? And you can't chase it. You can only create a environment that welcomes it, which is similar to psychedelics in itself. You can't tell the medicine what kind of experience you want to have. You can just create a prayerful place and hopefully uh, you'll be taken for a ride and hopefully it will be gentle. <laughs> um, so set and setting are important in uh, psychedelic sex the same way they are in psychedelics. You want to be in a safe space. You want to uh, go in with an intentional attitude. You don't want to be interrupted. You don't uh, want to be around people who are not uh, supportive. Uh, and you want to make enough time because, you know, quickies happen and that's great because we didn't a lot, a whole lot of time. And that's a wonderful experience. But if we want to invite a psychedelic experience, we would want to make a, a period of time to be together. So for example, MDMA is going to take four to six hours. LS, uh, psilocybin is going to take six to eight. LSD is going to take 300 hours because it never stops. No, I'm just kidding. It's about 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours. And I love LSD. So that's my little joke. Uh, so for, Pretty if you awesome. want psych, huh? if, you awesome. want, <laughs> if you want to prepare a space for psychedelic sex to perhaps visit you, you would want to create a, mm. a space of whatever you think, two to four hours, two to six hours, maybe a whole Saturday or something like this. And then you want to clear your relationship because a lot of what happens is people's unresolved issues with each other show up in the bedroom and that shows up as mm. I don't really feel like it or I'm kind of done now or you know all these kinds of feelings. So you want to have a conversation and clear up that you're still upset about your partner not cleaning up after themselves this morning or that rude thing they said last week or just talk those things through. You might want to make a playlist just like for psychedelic trips. Uh, mm. I have a couple playlists you're welcome to sample on uh, YouTube and one on um, Spotify. We found that, um, you know, most con music considered sex music is trying to get you up to that high arousal, mm. high arousal and orgasm. And so uh, music that uh, we found we like is more meditative. It's maybe at a Hertz level of heart opening, uh, mm. sometimes chanting, uh, no words. So anyway, you could sample some of those, um, the music that we have found conducive to long lovemaking. Um, so all these things, you want to treat it uh, very divine. You want to see the divinity in your partner if, if you see mm. things that way. And you know, we always acknowledge the divinity in each other. We always thank each other afterwards. So you just make a sacred space and start protracted pleasuring, reminding yourself to stay in the moment and see what happens with a very curious mind, not trying to make this thing happen, but seeing, will this visit me?